Across London, up to 7,000 people call 999 for an ambulance. I'm going to tell you how to give mouth to mouth, okay? The team must decide who gets care first and who must wait. Lambeth Bridge is blocked by protesters at the moment. The chaos begins. At a critical time for our nation. My dad is dying. Move the van, please. We see behind the blue lights and sirens in a city of 9 million people. What's the secret? And discover how every single call can change a life. Welcome to the world. This is my first birth and it's twins too. Expecting a long night. Looking forward to Halloween. No, oh, it's it's gonna be really busy. I mean, busy. Nothing. But all I want to know is that there's nothing going on. Nothing's on fire. I hope there is a bit of excitement and stuff going on tonight. Yeah. Do you reckon we'll get a lot of hoaxes of like someone sees someone like dead in a park? I mean, this would absolutely be the night that it would happen. Right. Jude will be controlling 13 ambulance crews across South London. Right, elderly fallout on the floor. Including Liam and Debbie. Good evening. Now, this is November 180, and we are signing on to fleet number 8606. Hello. What's Hello. going on today? Hello. I'd rather be on a beach sipping mojitos, but here I am, helping London. <laughs> are you ready to go if you are on not a cap tree coming in now? We're all good to go. 999. First job of the night, 3,000. Oh my giddy on. Oh my goals. Oh, I'm gonna go and get some avocado. Avocado. The trick or treat and I had nothing in the house and I had to give them an avocado. I was like, I've got no food because I'm on a health kick. So this poor little kid is walking around Belvedere with an avocado thinking I'm never gonna trick or treat again. Emergency ambulance, is the patient breathing? Is the patient awake? 151 patients inherited from the day shift are waiting for an ambulance. This is an even winter pressures and already it's like two, three hour delays. Emergency ambulance, is the patient breathing? Hello, uh, NSS Brigade. Can we get your attendance, please? Of course. We've got an eight pump fire, persons reported in a high rise. I agree with you, since hospital, okay. Thank you. NSB across the arms attendance, it's an eight pump fire. Uh, person reported in a high-rise uh, block of flats. Natalie and Andre on the incident management desk are in charge of all complex cases in control. They liaise with the emergency services at scene. There's an update on air, uh, 1848, LA squad, male, base 14, between the 12th and the 13th floor, has stab wounds. Eleanor? And then they're saying there's eight stab wounds. Eleanor, can you send a truck? There's a bloke on the 12th floor that's been stabbed. Eight fire trucks and police are already at the flats. A solo paramedic and incident manager are en route. And now another crew has been requested. Hey, hey, we've got a job. Um, are you going to be ready relatively soonish? I'm going to be now for the job that's sort of kicking off a bit in South We're all yours. We're literally going out the gate now. Yeah, send the job down. Ready for you now. Um, it's a fire, but also stabbing as well. Right, I'll send it down. I'll come back in a minute, OK? Thank you. New incident. Mm-hmm. Sarah, who is only a year into the job, and David will be the first fully equipped ambulance crew to arrive. It doesn't say about a fire here, though. It doesn't say anything. It all sounds a bit bizarre, doesn't it? Mm. Jackie, Charlie, three, three, party, go ahead. Back in control. Receives updates from the manager on scene. Uh, 
what, what you're saying, is this the gentleman that uh, the police passed through has been stabbed on the 12th floor ever? Well, we've got no update with the past two. The police have been stabbed. Oh, OK, so it's burned rather than stabbing? OK. Quebec 221. It is not a stabbing, we believe it is actually burns. Oh. Ah. We've got a burns patch. and six emergency services personnel are on scene. Where do you guys want us? Yeah. Okay. Where, how far off are hands? I'm really nervous about this. as soon as possible because his burnt airways will start to swell and stop air reaching his lungs. Doing really well. This can only be done by emergency doctors who are still minutes away. Oh, were you cooking? Did the oil fall over you? Did it explode on you? The oil poured over you. Okay, mate. take a big responsibility when you go into a job treating a patient who's had extensive injuries. I think because I'm newer, I feel like I get more stressed out. Once we've got this tied in, I want you to take over the ventilator. You can use on a monitor where the entitled is, it's yeah. purple. Yeah. Okay, so so you can't go to pieces because otherwise you can't do your job properly. Top and then underneath, you're like we're going really quickly. Sometimes I feel like I'm there, sometimes definitely not that. You ready, Sarah? I think so, yeah. yeah go for it. Yeah. I feel like the more I do, have you ever seen anyone with burns like that before? Mm. Mm. Just different a little bit. Now, as we were pulling up and we saw all the emergency services, I think that's when it started to really, like brain sort of kind of really kicked, kicked up a gear and thought, okay, this is what we're going to be walking into. Mm. It's like the whole fight or flight thing. I yeah, guess you yeah, can either yeah. like freak out and yeah. turn to turn to crap sort of thing. Yeah. You can really just focus. turn it into a productive yeah. focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely agree. You do like have trouble sleeping or whatever because of that job. Feel free to give me a call whenever. Okay. I will. Emergency ambulance, is the patient breathing? Whoa, hang on, hang, hang on, are they breathing? You just said no, are they breathing? Okay. So he's kicking cars and, and attacking people? In control, they're receiving a new 999 call every 12 seconds. Hi, I think it's going to be a busy night tonight. Don't want to jinx it or anything. 
I think it's going to be carnage. I think give it give it a couple of hours, and I think everybody's going to be stabbing each other. I'm hoping not, but I just I have a feeling. team, Nikki and Maisie, have just finished their first job of the night, a 28-year-old with chest pains. Good evening, Mike 283, you're receiving. I'm sorry, we're going over. We're ready to go green, so send us down whatever you fancy. Oh, I've got a young lad in SE25, query torsion of testes. Okay, I'm going to just give it a quick ring, just to make sure they are still there and waiting, because we have been holding this call for nearly two hours now. I'll get back to you with the Thank you. Hello, it's London Ambulance Service. I just really to apologise for the delay, but there is an ambulance assigned to you and they'll be with you shortly. All right then, take care, bye bye. And I'm done. Ambulance box is empty. 999 road activated. At 12 years old, he does not want someone like you. No. He's been seen that way. No. Well, he might not mind, I don't know. Some boys don't care, do they? At 12 years old, Halloween is the best time ever. You know what I mean? Your bits twisted, do you, and being in the <laughs> hay? I don't know much about it, but the blood supply can be cut off and you can lose the testicle. And obviously he's a young man, doesn't want that at his age. Right, so what number is this? Because the light has just come. <laughs> What's your name? So you come up there, swing your legs up, get comfortable. Oh, you do look sore. Oh, Logan. It's not good. No. All right, have a seat there, Mum. You, What's your name? Shirley. Shirley. Hello, Shirley. Hiya. You all right? <laughs> so, what's happened? I went to my auntie's house. Okay. So I sat in her chair. Yep. Right. Then her dog actually jumped on my crotch and it started hurting. Oh, no. Did it hit you in the private bits? The dog? Yeah. Okay. So, Logan, I am going to have to have a look. All right. I know it's uncomfortable. But we've got a blanket there, so you can cover everything else with the blanket. Yeah, well, could you just look away for me? We will. We Thank will. You. Okay. I don't suppose you've shown mum, have you? No. Have you no. Shown no. We yeah. just want to make sure that they've just yeah. both got nice colour and yeah. just see if you'll be able to know what's normal and what's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Hey, Mum, I have a tingle for pants. I can tingle for sure. Oh, oh. Are you happy if I have a look now? I'll be fine. OK. Right. So it doesn't look swollen or different at all, but it will still be a trip up to the hospital because obviously we need to figure out what's going on. Well done. And it's not nice at all, so very brave. All right. I'm ready when you are. Um... 21.35. Thank you. Have you ever been in an ambulance before? First time. First time? Oh, hopefully the last time. I've spent all my life trying to protect Maisie. She was an adorable kid. She was very loving. When she got her first uniform, she put it on at home. It was like she was dressing up, like, you know, dressing up stuff that she used to do when she was little. How big was the dog that jumped onto your lap? Mine is white. Oh, wow. Up to here. It's a quite a big dog to jump in your lap. Yeah. When she was a baby, she cried a lot. I used to have one of these little carry things. It's just like a little chimp that sort of straps onto mummy. She was as happy as Larry then. So what do you want to do when you get older? Mm, anything. Anything. It took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do. It happens last minute sometimes. <laughs> it is a good job and I'm pleased she's gone into it and I had a knife put to me. It took me months to process it. Every day it popped into my head. And I don't really want that for her. We're all here now. Right, here we go. Ready? She's not a very good driver. Who? No, I meant on the wheelchair. Oh! <laughs> no, that's true. I need L plate. L plate. 
Um, we have arrived, madam. Oh, I thought we had. Right, what's your foot on the left, sweet? Down. Emergency ambulance is the patient breathing. When you look at him, is he changing colour? Okay, I understand. So you want an Iranian boyfriend, but you can't, you can't find one at the moment. Is that correct? Okay, so I'll cancel this down for you, okay? But if his condition does change or worse in any way, do give us a call back on 999. That's okay, thank you, bye. Emergency ambulance, is the patient breathing? Hello, it's a huge accident. Two taxis collided. I don't know. I'm just calling from the house. It's mayhem. Are you with the patients now? No, I'm inside. How many people are hurt or sick? I can see maybe five people or more. There were people ran over. It's awful. Okay. Do you want me to go outside? If you can, go outside. That would help, okay? Busby, busby, car, be car. Anyone free on DDS? Can you get LFB on 5152, please? Emergency ambulance, is the patient breathing? Hello? Hello, it's been a crash. One, two, three, 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 Look for an IRO, please. That uh, uh, coming in. Two buses versus two vehicles, multiple casualties. Oh, 31, we'll take that. Five one likewise. There's one driver in a very badly smashed car. Yeah. He's conscious. Yeah. Okay. I have one person in the middle of the road, also conscious. Okay, there are people in the bus injured. And how many roughly would you say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, one, five, two. Oh, this is like a wild oh. Any serious bleeding? Yes, one. Two, 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 I think that one person did. <laughs> Recharge of the scene. They both have over 12 miles to travel to Orpington, the furthest reach of London. The nearest ambulance, M450, is just minutes away. Just an update before you get there. Potentially 11 patients. We believe one deceased. You are going to be first on scene. Other resources should be on behind you. Good one, Jack. Over eight are trapped in a bus. Emergency window has been smashed. There could be 11 patients. I think this might need to be made a significant. Yeah. Definitely make it significant. I'm declaring it. A significant incident is only declared when there are multiple casualties. Despite the pressures of a busy night, they'll need to free up at least 10 more ambulances. Do you have any details regarding this RTC on it? Only two other significant incidents have been declared this year. We have up to hospital patients. Some have head injuries. We need to make ambulances. I say at least 10 or 12. Police, fire brigade and two ambulances are now on scene. Pete and Rachel will need to assess if more crews are needed. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is no 
someone injured, can we ask you to go and stand back that side for me, please? A team of paramedics are working on the two most critically injured patients who've been flung from the bus. Two other paramedics are urgently triaging the rest of the patients, dividing them into P2s needing urgent medical care and P3s who need treatment but can wait. One person has been confirmed dead. With so many patients, a special operations center, SOC, has been scrambled to manage the multiple ambulances needed. Do you just confirm the number of frontline ambulances I've got on scene and on route? Uh, one on route, two on scene, over. Let's see, can you send me a further two? Thank you very much. Can I see more ambulances? Do just steal them? Pretty much. Yeah. Just check what they're on before you take them. Yeah. Is that a black cat that's just run in front of us? Was it? I think so. Well, that's not lucky. <laughs> Seven miles away, Nicola and Maisie are en route to an 86-year-old woman with breathing difficulties. As soon as winter starts coming on. Urgent update. Cancellation received. On our way to two buses versus two vehicles, multiple casualties. Go on, patients thrown from bus, patients trapped inside, LFB on scene. We've got so many resources on scene. the two that were on scene already to approach on Park Avenue and the second two to approach on the Avenue. We've made sure MPS are leaving both of those roads clear for access and egress. Roger, thank you for that, sir. All, all noted, uh, over. Mike 283 receiving. I've yeah, just been advised by Bonds Pedic, could you, if possible, when you approach the scene, come from the Avenue? Yeah, not problem. The Avenue. Which hospital are you calling from? We have got a significant incident of two buses that have crashed in Orpington. I've got Kings on the phone. How many patients are they getting? Three. Three. They haven't left scene yet, so as soon as we get an update, we will call it through. The problem with this type of thing is that you get roped into other patients, so just try and stick yeah. with me and I'll stick with you. Nikki helps another crew take a critically injured patient to hospital. Maisie is assigned to treat patients on scene. Here we go. Sorry, excuse me. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, guys. You're right. I think we're going to be taking this patient. 16 patients have now been identified. The deceased is thought to be one of the two bus drivers. Hello. I'm Maisie. Just pulled out. Okay. Are you able to take your coat off for me? Listen to your chest first. All right. Nice deep breaths in and out. Right. So that sounds all okay, okay? Because obviously, if you've got rib pain or worried about if you've broken it, punctured your lung or anything like that, and your ankle, this one. Yeah. Let's have a quick look. You're right. I'll be gentle. Sorry. It doesn't feel like anything is broken. I think, especially as you got up and walked it, but it could be all the adrenaline and stuff like that. Yeah. P3, yeah. He was the driver of the bus. Hello, sir. Are you doing okay at the moment? Alright, we're going to get, we've got more ambulances coming, we're going to get you down to the PRU, okay, get your head checked out, get your knees up. Alright, anything else we could do for you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think you deserve it. 
refusing to go to hospital but due to a complex medical history it's important she is checked over she's not giving any no we're just going to play that game we're just going to go around in circles unfortunately she's making it worse for herself that once you get seen at the hospital the quicker you get back here the quicker they can interview you the quicker you can get home come on babe After an hour of persuasion, the patient agrees to go to hospital. Thank you very much, Sarge. Liam, how long? How long to get there? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. All right, should we go? Oh, oh. Oh, what? Um, look at this. A significant incident. What the hell? What's this? Yeah, I know. Oh, Jesus. The big jobs are the ones that the public remember. I've been to Westminster Bridge and I also went to Grenfell. That's not saying you want to see when you shut your eyes. All your teeth intact when you've got a puncture, everything's fine. You turn up at the big job like that, you don't know what you're arriving at. The shit is real. It really is happening. And then there's someone there, right? You're needed up there. You're needed up there. And you just go and you do. So you're not thinking about anything else apart from the person who's in front of you. That's all you're thinking about is that one patient. A scene like that is so chaotic. It does feel lonely. 20-year-olds don't really find themselves in that situation. You know, when you're one-on-one -on -one with that patient and they've just been through the most horrific day of their life, I can't even begin to imagine how they feel or how they're going to process that. I'm 
You okay there? You know what, it's going to be really awful to think about. And it probably will be one of those things that you think about for a long time. Okay, but that is very normal. If it does start to affect you, and you do feel like you're thinking about it too much, or it's keeping you up at night, go and talk to someone, okay? It's really important. Because it's not normal seeing things like that. Hello, you okay? Um, it's awful. This is horrendous, really. The carnage that is caused. Yeah. Love you, bye. Bye. I had no idea before starting this job how cruel life could be. You're thinking about all the families that are affected and all the people. How could something like this happen? I think it's made me grow up a lot quicker. There's a lot of ambulances out here. Um, I couldn't get in. So we're on the road, down the road. OK, mate. Come on. This way, guys. Jesus. You saw all the ambulances from that thing. If it's major trauma, they're coming here, mate. Job changes you. I've seen nasty stuff before, but if it's the first time you've ever seen something like that, it's going to play mind games. Okay, so I've been asked to come and, and chair this debrief this evening. Is there any immediate welfare issues for anyone? My advice, talk. Talk to your crew, mate. Talk to everyone. Don't bottle it up. You bottle it up, you're going to crack up. We're a family in green. We'll always be there for you no matter what. The car driver's been arrested on suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving. That looks horrific. Look at the state of that car. He's lucky he walked away from that. Emergency ambulance is the patient breathing? Um, yes. I've cut our finger on a tin. And I think it's sliced in a heart. Was it an assault? No, no, we're at the type of bear club. Just check in. After 12 hours off, B Watch are back in for the night shift. November 180. Four patients, they've had weed edibles, which I don't know if that's... What is a weed edible? Oh, but basically they're all in their 20s and they can't handle having weed cakes. <laughs> um, yeah, we enjoy that. Thank you, speak later. Look, cannabis has got a lot more mainstream now, hasn't it? Yeah, everyone's having a bit of the old cannabis. Everybody has a little bit of that mangy bang every now and again, don't they? Control mic 283, uh, we're just about to green up. I understand you've probably got a job just around the corner for us, over. Good evening. Oh, this one actually sounds quite poorly. He's a one-year-old boy. He's uh, got a temperature of 38.4. He's had diarrhoea on and off for a few days. And I love this last little comment. He's unhappy. I'm excited to see that boy. Oh, bless. Oh, I'd be unhappy too. Oh, you're such a soft touch. You're definitely in the wrong job. <laughs> Sit down with him. Oh, you can sit down with him. Oh, you want him on your lap? There you go. Sit on your lap, and then he'll be able to. 
Oh, that's it. it. Hello. So he's at this temperature we've cut out. Have you noticed anything, any rashes or anything uh, on him? No, um, earlier I have felt on my phone. Yeah. Uh, down here it was like a purple. Yeah. Does he normally look like this? Very mottly, isn't he? No. no. Okay. And he's got sort of a little bit of a wet. Dad, because he's been vomiting and diarrhea, it makes he's just going to do a little pinprick on his finger. Right? It might upset him. Yeah. Yeah. Where's mum? Where's... She don't live with at the moment. Okay. It's going to be a sharp scratch to the back of his ankle, okay? Yeah, that's right. When was he last vomiting? What sort of time? When I can So, did he bring it straight back up? Well, it's going to be a little trip down the hospital, all right? I mean, he's, he's got good time, but he's got yeah. lot, lots of things, sort of his mottling and all of that. We don't like the look of, called temperatures. And obviously with his history, it's best to be getting checked out, yeah? yeah? Right, Dad, do you want us to get anything? Um, do you want us to hold him for a minute while you get bits together? Um, yeah, you can. Well, if he'll be happy. <gasps> oh, it's a big <laughs> rain scary yeah. lady. Okay. It's almost the size of you. Oh, he's a big know. chunk, isn't he? do see people coping and they're only young and yet they're so mature for their age. Come in, who's Is that mum? <laughs> Is that him in a little centre there? Oh, he's got his dad now, he's alright, isn't he? Okay. Do you think he'll sit on here? I'll just put that up a little bit. Do you think he'll sit there? Do you want the pedi, mate? Will in a bit. See if he tolerates it. Hello. Dad, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there. Sit there. children? Um, one on the way. One on the way. Okay, and that's with same mum? Yeah. Demi. Really knows Yana, but um, we just have to document all of this down. So does Demi look after Brody then? Um, not right now. No. Um, okay. She's, she's um, got a new baby. Okay. Um, complicated. Very complicated. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you're going to have two under two. It's going to be fun. <laughs> It's so hard, isn't it? He must have been quite young then when he was born, wasn't he? Was she 16? Was she as mature as this? Or do you think having a baby's made you grow up a bit? Uh, definitely made me grow up. <laughs> I was 26 when I had my first child and I still didn't feel ready. No, I was far from ready. Yeah, no, but it's nice, world, mate. no, exactly. Once you've got them, that's it, isn't it? No, don't cry. You're okay. <laughs> my life's been incredibly easy compared to most of the people out there you know you just think this is amazing you know that you've, you've managed to, to get this far with some of the stories that they tell you so he doesn't live with mum but does he see mum yeah yeah hello switched on dad definitely know. yeah he's very loves him to pieces so. yeah he was he was 16 when he had that oh my that god that baby 16 16 yeah good on him though i know like for actually you know taking responsibility yeah. he said i said you've had to grow up fast he said yeah definitely yeah so definitely not a lot already i mean what 16 year old boy of course not still, boys are still kids until they're 25. dad's over 50 he's just still a kid well yeah <laughs> November 180. November 180, I've been expecting you on this one. This is my highlight of my night so far. So, there were four patients, there was one patient in the end. It looks like they were having a bit of a party, and they'd had like some 
um, weed cake at like five o'clock this afternoon. And then it slowly like gone downhill. And then he just barfed like all over the place. And yeah, it was a, it was a good dodge on my account. So no vomit on me. Woo! You enjoy your job far, far too much. Lesson to people not to uh, do um, hash cakes, really. <laughs>
I'm going to work until I can't carry someone down the stairs anymore. That will be the day that I'm going to have to think, what else can I do? That is going to kill me. Job. I know where I'm going in the morning. I'm coming to Deptford and pick up my ambulance. I don't know where I'm going there. Next on Ambulance. We found an AD association fence. Dress, conscious, but I barely. How old would you say she was? Uh, maybe 60 years. Da-da! For support, go online to bbc.co.uk slash actionline.